The vlog. We're back in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and oh my god, how good is it to be back? It's amazing. Look at how beautiful it is. Absolutely stunning day. Um, it is a Thursday, so pretty quiet so far. It looks so empty, doesn't it? It really is. It's amazing though. But as the title suggests, we're here for a very special event as well. So not only are we getting on some of our favourite rides in the UK, such as. Thank you. Some of our guest experience, <laughs> such as... So not only are we getting on some of our best favourite rides in the UK, or suspended but we'll to ensure also social distancing be walking is maintained. the Big Dipper. The safety oh, and so well-being so of our How amazing is that? So the park got in touch, they've invited curiosity. us along to be some of the first people to do it. Head of the Welcome actual public event. So we'll be doing it alongside uh, Scott and Becca from uh, Pleasure Beach Experience, which is going to be really exciting to meet them too. So cool. Cool. Honestly, and I'm so proud that Joe's doing it because you are a little bit afraid. I am a little bit nervous. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When I first heard about the opportunity, I was like, I don't know if I can do it, but I've signed yeah. myself up. I'm going to face my fears because it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. And we did. Uh, we walked up the big one, Lift Hill, last year. And it was a really, yeah, Joe didn't do it. She was like, that is really high and I couldn't miss anything. So yeah, it's going to be an absolutely amazing thing. But we're just going to have a nice leisurely day. Um, so the first half of the vlog is just going to be us going around the park. And then we'll vlog the whole experience of walking the Big Dipper. So, you know, if you're interested in booking it or you already have booked it, you'll know exactly what to expect. So join us around Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yay! I love the bricks. So here are the bricks. Wall of names, so obviously you can buy a brick off the website and you can have them. I'm mean, there's so many names I can already see on here, <laughs> they already know. We've got this new piece of track here, I'm kind of tired, that's the old, that's the new. It goes all, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this, uh, this feels. Apparently it's very noticeable. someone has just done <laughs> the big one. The big one. <laughs> oh mate, that's it's so good to be back on there. And I realised as we was going out of the station I hadn't done 
um, the big one since I actually walked up the lift hill on it. So it's just so cool to be back yeah. on it and oh, flying around today, man. So yeah, we're gonna go have a little go on Icon. Jeez, we're getting a lot of rice today. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh wow. So good to get back on Icon. So good yeah. to walk straight on it. <laughs> walk straight on it, man. Walk straight on Icon. It's, I don't think I've ever done that. To be honest. But yeah, it was, it was running absolutely brilliantly. Um, I don't think it was running necessarily faster. I know some people are saying it feels faster, but I think that's just because that was a lot of people's first coaster. Yeah, one, one of their first rides. Um, but later on, it's going to be nice. Yeah, you can, you can be tell when it's going to be having a good day, I feel like, with Icon. Uh -huh. And that's already like a good, a good speed. The seat belts were like not oh, yeah. like, yeah. absolutely not a problem. It just clips over yeah. to the top of like the shell bit that comes down. You don't notice them. I mean, and it, it may slow down operations on a busier day on perhaps, a busier day because uh, we like, waiting for the train to fill up anyway so it yeah be obviously today is not fair to judge <laughs> it on this but um yeah easy i think that would just become second nature very quickly to be honest yeah i've never tried this cider before the wild berry cider yeah, yeah. i've just got regular beer regular beer Quite uh, it's actually beautiful in this sunday Honestly. So I've seen these in uh, plenty of people's vlogs. Sorry about the audio if it's a bit bad. But look at these. Very cool, like such a good idea. little beer now we're gonna go on Big Dipper obviously because we're gonna be walking it later on but yeah it's it honestly I really like this coaster yeah think? I love it it's my favorite well, one here would it? yeah exactly <laughs> I just love this coaster so much it's like nearly a hundred years old I always think back to like back in the 1920s when it first opened yeah. people were here riding it like, on the beach it's awesome <laughs> it's really it's really cool and it's one of them coasters well one of them woodies that you can get very different rides on it, totally even in a day. where you sit. <laughs> totally depends on you do it, just depends on the day. Yeah. We've had amazing rides. Oh, this big one. Hey. Lovely. But yeah, it's like you can get on it and it can be crazy as anything. Um, and you can get on another day, it'll be really slow. But I just, I love it every time. I've never had a bad ride on it. Even when it's rough and crazy, I still love it's it. It's kind of like, even when it's bad, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my hair is just mental in every <laughs> shot. It's crazy. Um, Embrace the Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to. But no, great, great going on the Big Dipper. Like, we've got a back row. Uh, yes. Which is always a bit like nerve wracking. <laughs> but no, it was, it was fun. It was so fun. I, can't, I want to get on again. Like, so. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy, but it was in the best way. <laughs> in the best possible way. That's what we like. Um, so, yeah. Sean, halloumi fries. Halloumi fries. Let's oh, go and yeah. ghost train and then a halloumi. Okay, deal. There's the ghost train. Looking awesome as usual. 
not a single person riding. That's actually a bit scary, we'll be the only ones in there. Yay, spooky friends! So a little update, the halloumi fries, gourmet fries, it's closed today, but we did get some corn nuggets from the Summer Fried Chicken place, which were pretty awesome. Did you like your corn nuggets, Sean? Oh yes, so nice. <laughs> okay, so we just did a ride on Icon and it was flying. It was flying, mate. So good. And we just did Avalanche. Yeah, and that Avalanche. Was sick. And that's the first time we've done Avalanche and gone in like separate cars. So like yeah. on a car on our own, we usually sit together and it was on my head's chopped off. <laughs> time we did Avalanche where we both sat in separate cars as well. So we went on our own. Usually we sit together, don't we, in one? And actually it's quite scary when you're in one on your own because you slip right down and it yeah. It's fine. <laughs> It was fun. Well, I was right at the front as well, so it was like sweeping around. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I like Avalanche. I don't do it that often, but it is good. We're just going to go have a look in the shop and then we'll be going on that thing up there. Walking it. That thing. Look what they've done on the windows of Kiss Me Quick. They've got all these like vintage and all the different. The chalkboard girl. Chalkboard girl. I have no idea if you can see that on the camera. Here's all like chalk designs of all the iconic, uh, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, I love that. And it says 125th birthday. Welcome back. Right, let's go have a little look inside, see if there's anything we like. So just looking around the shop and look what they've opened up here. We've got the original fly machines, but you can see inside now the inner workings of it. It's obviously a little bit more modern than it was, but it's like that is the basic concept. Yeah, it's still the same mechanism, isn't it? Like the, you've got the pulleys and levers and stuff. So cool. Okay, so we're in a very much quieter Pleasure Beach. We're uh, a ghost town now. So we're going over there now just to have the briefing, kind of similar to the way that uh, if you've ever seen any footage or experience walking uh, the big one, kind of the same thing. Um, but, it all yeah. harnessed up. It all harnessed up. Got a walking boot on. <laughs> We're here with uh, Scott and Becca. There you go. Hello. Um, pleasure music experience. I'm sure you recognise these two. Nah. But, <laughs> no. Yeah. No. What, what's your channel name again? Um, <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> something experience. Something. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you when we're over there. Whee. It's really cool. So yeah. So when the, the event's running, this is will be the spectator area. So, because you've got these really nice views of Big Dipper. Kind of really the only way, the only place you could get. But if you've got spectators, uh, they give you a good a photo up and they can get some nice photos off you walking along it, which is really cool. Um, so you are going to walk the Dipper today, or the Big Dipper. Um, we've got some facts. Obviously the ride itself was opened in 1923, it was extended in 1936 over sort of the south part of the park where we are today. Um, as a maximum height of about 65 feet, 40 miles an hour, you are kind of going to get to that level, not the 40 miles an hour that I did promise. <laughs> people to do it oh. yeah first ever people <laughs> this is the premier event yeah no i'm just looking forward to it i think it's going to be tiring <laughs> but yeah. worth it <laughs> looking forward to it can't wait yeah excited have you ever done that have you ever walked Never any walked no not on this no any woody? No, no wood no. coasters, no. Excited, oh, really excited. I've been hoping this would be a thing for years, and yeah. here we are. Yeah, um, yeah. I can't believe it. Beck is very, very excited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was very excited when I found out it was the Big Dipper. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Andy's going to be giving us some pretty cool facts, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way that we're going to do this is um, we'll basically one of us goes at the front and two of you, then one of us goes in the middle and 
two of you, and then one of us goes at the back, okay? And the way we, we walk this is backwards. Yeah. So we'll start on the brake run, um, which is the easiest um, place to do, because it's nice and straight and flat. I'm gonna let you into a little secret, particularly if you've done more the big one before. These are a lot trickier, and so be kind to yourself when we're doing this, and take your time, um, get used to it, mm -hmm. um, and so on, but you will find this a bit trickier than, than the sliders that you may have used on more the big one. And we'll, we'll take you around, as we said, a section yeah. Um, of the track um, to begin with. So it'll be a nice easy start along the straight bit out of the brake run and then down um, towards um, the steeple chase and so on. Around. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So we're all, all good. Obviously, like walk the big one, once we're attached, we're in that order and we can't swap people around and so yeah. on. So just make sure that when we set off, if you're desperate to go first, then you're, you go first. And um, if you're desperate to go at the back, you go at the back because we can't swap you around halfway around. All right? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, let's do this then. Let's go. Yeah, all good. All right, guys. All right, so we are going to step you over the track when you get up to where I am, just across here, okay? Yeah. It's as simple as that. <laughs> uh, so as he said during the presentation, it's still one of the manually um, brake drives. We're still using levers to, um, when we bring the trains in and so on. And this is a check brake to make sure that the train, when it is coming in at the end, is coming in at the right speed. And again, it can be adjusted um, depending on the weather, for example, so if it's a very wet day. Yeah. have a slightly different setting to a mm -hmm. yeah. day like today um, and so on. It basically takes the oomph out of the train ready for when it's coming in to be manually braked. Um, okay? Cool. All right. So, first tricky bit, we're going to attach on to the line, all right? Yeah, oh, no, definitely. <laughs> the way this, when you push the big neck and jack, making it all the way through. Uh -huh. Okay, not kind of position in the middle there. Alright, so all the way through, flat out, and that's long. Okay, so you'll notice a little bit of movement, and then when you get to there, it'll move anyway. So this bit in the middle is what the bag is moving. So as long as that's the loose tension, it's flat. Okay, so that's okay. like the catch yes. for yeah. it, yeah. It's designed for it, obviously, if you want it to stop, it will lock where it is, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so it will take longer than you need, so you put Okay, All right. cool. Thank you. Hopefully, you can see the big two icon. Good? Yep. All good. All good. All good. Oh, like that? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be hard with this it one is. handed, isn't it? <laughs> so on the big one, it just kind of glides oh, through, doesn't it? Glides through, yeah. So, is there a way of just. You have to put, actually push it like yeah, that? Yeah, okay. it takes a bit of fast. Platform over there, the big one. Oh, well, I need a better truck. <laughs> Rail as well, put a wooden roll face, put a side rail and a top rail, and keep them at strips and the top. After one of the things they're doing is checking all the pieces in. Looks like a fair When you're riding along and you feel all those little bumps and going over the joints. That's what it'll do, isn't it? Yeah, but they wear down and we replace them. Uh, wood expands at the track and the the neck. That's why they cut at angles, because as they expand, they can slide across each other rather than being end to end, which would cause them to push. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Find it so far, Jess? <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? you got to concentrate a lot on the, the clippy thing, because yeah. there's a, definitely a knack to it, but I think I'm yeah. getting the hang of it now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got a bit on it, have I? It's short oh, no. I oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Two, yeah. The three coasters into the same. It's so impressive, isn't it? Um, what you're going to find now, now that you've got nearly experts at this, <laughs> is it's going to the floor's going to be a little bit more angled, and we're going to do a little bit of a steeper drop, and we're going to come hopefully to the head chop a bit in a little bit as well. Steeper drop, yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes the clicky noise. Yeah, sorry, yeah, as you go around, you'll hear the grrr noise or whatever. going up the pull up and On the lift hill, yeah. That's literally the, the safety device clicking into every single one. If you can't hear it, that's when you should be worried. <laughs> yeah, you panic, yeah. How are you feeling, Joe? Yeah, pretty good. That was, yeah. It's a bit tricky, but it's actually, it's okay. It's not scary. No, it's not. It was built to reclaim parts of the shore, so this is actually beach sand that was here. Oh, wow. Uh. Some years and years ago. Even though it's got lots of roots grown through it now. Yeah. And even when we go underneath the, um, if you ever come here for our journey to Hellebent, where you go underneath yeah. the, uh, the River Caves building, and when you go underneath the Nick Streak, like in those areas, there's still beach sand all the way that far back. Oh. Yeah. That's so cool. So you thought, you don't realize how far down you are, do you? You'll master it just as we get off. It's a view, isn't it? That is. It's so cool. <laughs> It's just so many. It's just like a big mess of spaghetti. It's very thin in this bit here. You can see. Scott, how are you doing? Good. Oh, good. Becca? How are you doing? Yeah, good. It's amazing, isn't it? little safari scene down here it's such a unique like angle to see yeah. everything off it's so cool because even when you're on the coast you can't even really see right down there yeah when you're on the big dipper exactly Nailed it. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So we're just sorry. <laughs> so we're just in this area, which obviously, if you get to, if you do this, you get to come through this normally out of bounds area, which is crazy. Right, like just by Big Blue. And we're literally under the big. Dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and now. We're on the track, how cool is that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is insane. That is epic. We are going to pretend to be choo choo track. <laughs> <laughs> when did you last do it? 2013. Oh wow. Yeah. Just be careful, guys. The sleep is a little bit oily. Okay. <laughs> 
This is so cool going past all this. You get a selfie in the wall. If you want one. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can understand why they said uh, wear, wear like proper good boot, yeah. proper footwear. You wouldn't want to do this in Converse, would you? So, how did you find it all, Joe? Oh, it's really good. I wasn't as scared as I thought I was going to be. You know, I I you did bright. really well. I was really surprised. I, you know, even coming out of that mountain, really steep bit, I thought you were... That last bit, that did get to me a little bit. That did freak me out a little yeah. bit, but I just pushed through it. No, here we are. <laughs> Stay away. Infusion. How did you find it? I loved it. Absolutely so cool. loved it. Amazing view. Yeah, it was just like incredible. Perfect weather for it. Um, and just the views you get off the other other rides or the, or the other coasters. It's just mad. It's a nice sneaky gate that we haven't seen before. I hope you guys might. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. No. Icon Garden. Oh, yeah. Trees are actually blossomed this year. They look great, don't they? I didn't oh, notice no, that no, earlier. I didn't even notice that earlier. Yeah. I've got the chain. Oh, oh yeah, chain action. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. So, uh, this bit, you'll be pleased to know that you don't need your um, safety lanyard for. Yeah. If you have attached it through there so that you're not carrying anything, so you're right, you can hopefully forget about that and concentrate on okay. walking. And you can pop it through the same loop on the front if that's easiest for you. It really is, isn't it? It's like climbing a massive flight of stairs. <laughs> so going up the lift hill now. This is really impressive. Honestly, I know I've been gifted this, but I'm, I'm not just saying it. But I definitely recommend doing it. How many chances are you going to get to walk up or walk around a nearly 100 year old wooden coaster? Incredible. Check this out. This is just amazing. You've got the sea there. You've got the sea. Oh, wow. You look over that way all the yeah. way up. <laughs> it's incredible. You want to come up a bit? <laughs> Did well there. Have the time to just take it all in because when you're on yeah. the big dip, you're just looking, then you're up again. It's just mental. <laughs> this is mad. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> When you see, see around there, just look a... There you go, pigeon. <laughs> look at that iconic sign. Wow. It's weird because it's like, you, 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 we go we go on this all the time, but you don't really appreciate the view until you just stood here. No, until you actually take it in. Yeah. It was like when I did big, a big one as well, when you got to the top, you're like, it's just more impressive when you're just standing still, yeah, aren't you? Definitely. That sun over the sea looks incredible too. Yeah, do you want to come around? Wow. We'll go around. Just mad. Oh. 
かいないよ。<笑>
One of the, one, one of the best experiences of my life, hands down. I, I like, still can't get over it, honestly. The views you got on there. Incredible. Just every now and again, you just remind yourself what you what you're walking on. It's just insane. Yeah, just, like this is a nearly hundred year old roller coaster. And then, wow. <laughs> obviously, you get to do the whole walking on the track. Yeah. Um, and then up the lift hill. The teardrop or the onion? No, That's the debate. Or the onion. What comment below? What is it? A teardrop or an onion on top of the big dipper? <laughs> I just can't believe I did it, actually. Like, yeah, you've done so well. Like, there are a few bits that I was pretty scared on, like coming back yeah. down or when the floor goes like at a slant at some points yeah. as well. So that was a little bit, little bit touch and go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's been a great day, just all, all in all though. Uh -huh. like, just in the park and like, wow. Yeah, so cool, so. Well, it's nothing else you can say, like you saw the footage. Like, Literally, how cool wow. Like so yeah, thank you so much Pleasure Beach, that has been an amazing experience, one that yeah, we will never was, forget. <laughs> and again, like I, I said earlier, like this was gifted to us by the park. And so. I bought the t-shirt as well, Walk the Woody t-shirt, yeah. got me done. And actually, because this is the, we were the first people to do it, I got the first ever Walk the Woody t-shirt. First ever Walk the Woody. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. Amazing. Lovely to uh, you know, meet Scott and Becca as well, uh -huh. um, and do it with them, them too. I couldn't have asked for a better evening to be yeah, honest. Yes, it's absolutely perfect. So yeah. there you go. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Would you walk the woody? What, what did you think about it? And don't forget to subscribe to Parksville. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.